hi in this video let's talk about what is named queries and what is named calculations in the sql server analysis services so here if you have any questions on the msbi ssis ssas or ssrs you can write a mail to training to sql at the rate gmail.com and please subscribe to this channel for more technology and up-to-date videos and you can visit a website as well which is mentioned in the video yeah now let's coming to the video so before going to talk about named queries and named calculations so you may need to know some other terms as well so if you see the terms you need to know data source data source view cube dimension table dimensions fact table measures and schema so we talked about these terms in detail in the previous videos so please watch that videos if you need a detailed information about these terms so on the high level so data source is nothing but a connection string so data source view is nothing but a logical view of a tables which we are going to use in the cube design i am repeating so data source view is nothing but a logical representation of the tables which you are going to use in the cube design next so dimensions so dimension is nothing but a hierarchical data which you are going to summarize in the cube next measure so measure is nothing but a numerical value which you are planning to calculate which you are planning to summarize and the fact table fact table is nothing but a collection of measures so to design a cube at least you need one dimension and one one measure next schema so for a detailed schema information please watch the video of star schema and snowflake schema video there are two schemas here star schema and snowflake schema so star schema is nothing but a, if all the dimension tables are directly linked to the fact table that is nothing but a star schema if if all the dimension tables are not directly linked to the fact table that is nothing but a snowflake schema now let me take you to the practically how to work with the named queries and named calculations so let me go to the project so here i just created a sample project for the explanation so here i created a so data source with a, the project is created with the name of a ssa sample under that i have a data source to create a data source you just simply you need to click on a new data source and provide a server name and database name and data source view so under the data source view so i will be selecting wait right click on the data source view click on a new data source view click on next here data source is created as a adventure works data warehouse 2012 here in my examples i will be using the adventure works data warehouse so if you already have a project yeah i have a customized database for our examples i will show you that uh, data warehouse examples in the next video for time being in this video so let's use a adventure works this is a provided by the microsoft so here i will be selecting the microsoft uh, adventure works dw2012 click on next here if you see here here you need this is a place where you need to select the tables so if you are already aware of the all the tables in depth you can simply select the each and every table and you click on this arrow this button or so microsoft business intelligence is a little intelligent one select one fact table either fact internet sales click on this side and click on add related tables what are all the tables which are linked to this fact table it automatically come and sit into the included object box included object box if you are already aware of the tables you can select it so now let me take you to the table one by one see dim date move it next so let me take the dim employee and dim product Mm, let me take the dim customer also yeah dim customer yeah i selected four dimension tables and one fact table 
so if i click on again add related tables some more tables may come in sit into the included objects so it purely depends on my business intelligence identifies the related tables with the foreign key and primary key relationships only it is not something uh, customizingly it identifies based on the foreign and primary key relationships so let me click on next so here i need to give a cube name i am going to give as a cube name as cube1 click on finish so once i click on finish so here my dim employee table is not linked let me remove that table okay so now let me show you this is the three tables are there in the system now if you see so now this fact table is directly linked to the all dimension tables so we can call it as a star schema so let me show you the snowflake schema as well let me right click here so i can add if if, if i miss any of the tables i can simply right click on right click here click on add or remove tables so there i can select the any other table in which i feel it is missed now i'll be selecting dim product sub category click on this arrow click on okay so if you see here now so this table is not directly linked to the fact table if you see so dim product sub category is not linked directly to the fact internet sales so now i can say it is a snowflake schema let me minimize it and show you all the tables so if you see here i have around five tables so but all the five tables are not directly linked to the fact tables so that is the reason why we are going to call it as a snowflake schema now coming to the concept so what is a named query see when i say as of now i'll be pulling all the information i'll be pulling all the table information so there are some scenarios where i don't need all the table information if you see my dim date so dim date simply contains like around some 20 plus columns which i may not require all the columns so rather than pulling every column to the data source cube data source view so let's pull the required columns only so means in that scenario you may need to write a query that is nothing but a named query so this is a one one way of explanation the other way is so rather than like let us say these two tables are linked now so rather than uh, getting all the two tables independently means uh, separately let's write a query and let's write a view and use that view in the data source view design so that is again it's a kind of named query or let's prepare a query not a view prepare a query and directly put that query in the uh, data source view window that is nothing but a named queries now let me replace let me take you to that let me replace dim date with a named query right click on it here replace with a new named query here what i am doing so here i will be writing a query i can see the query name as well here so now i will be removing some of the columns which i don't feel it's not required let us say here spanish name is there not required french is not required for me let us assume it okay so you know spanish and french yeah so i have removed some the columns now the query is prepared here let's click on okay now if you see here it is replaced with a named query i can use the name of the query as well okay so if you see here you will not be having a that french or some spanish names okay so now you got it right what is the named query and all so means so to customize the columns or to customize the logic rather than getting entire table so you can get the information what are the columns which is required for our data source view so that is nothing but a named queries now what is the named calculations let me show you that let me take you one simple information yeah so here so if you see if you see my window so i have a, a select star from dim customer so my customer is yeah it is showing the gender as m m and f so but i want male or female so i want to oh, i want I, I want to create a new column if it is m i want to go with a male if it is f i want to go with a female okay so in that scenario so i will be going with a named calculations so i can apply numerical formulas as well but i can simply apply a string formula as well now how to do that select a specific table here earlier select a specific table right click 
new named calculation here i need to type the name so i will be putting as a gender info earlier gender is already there okay so i'll be I, I can put some description whatever i want here if required okay so if i already this better to put a description otherwise leave it that's not a mandatory column now here expression here i need to put that expression in a sql with a sql syntax so what is the sql syntax what is my requirement if a gender is m i want to display as a male if gender is f i want to display as a female now i need to write a case statement case when gender equal to m then simple quotes male else female end so this is a case statement i am i am putting for this gender info okay let's click on okay now if you see this gender info is column is created and you can see the icon which indicates that new named calculation one this is a named calculation now you can use this direct this column directly in the mdx queries or in the cube design so this is how you define or you create a named calculations and a named queries so you can create a named query directly directly right click in the empty space okay or you can directly replace any table with a named query so this is how you create or you work with a named queries and named calculations so that's it so thank you for watching if you like our videos please subscribe and share with all your friends and please don't forget to share your feedback in the comment section so that's it thank you for watching please keep watching and subscribe